along the front range throughout the morning. It's a first alert weather day today. It is. We have our expert right here, meteorologist Lauren Whitney. We had round one right now. We got a potential another round coming up. Yes, this is going to be the same storm that sticks with us for several days, so it's not incoming storm. Okay, today. gotcha. It's just one that doesn't want to leave us alone. So let's take a look <laughs> at what's happening outside. We do have that first alert weather day thanks to the cold and lingering snow. Now we're going to get a bit of a break here in the Denver area tonight and tomorrow, but eastern Colorado, you guys are going to continue to get hit by snow, possibly through Saturday evening. So it's going to stick with us. There's still some light snow in the high country, but the heaviest stuff, you see these dark purple spots, that's indicating the heaviest of the snowfall. So parts of Pueblo County, northeastern Colorado, as we zoom on into the Denver area for us, it's mainly the south side of town, picking up a little bit more here in the downtown area and out close to Aurora, but we continue to see that snow and it's going to be with us for several more hours. So this storm is packing a bit more of a punch than originally anticipated, but this is just round one for the front range. We are going to see more of this come our way, especially Friday night and into Saturday. So temperature or wind right now, again, the wind is really nasty, especially for the eastern part of the state. So that is contributing to some of those road closures that Brian was just talking about. And snow totals, Genesee with 11.3 inches of snow, Parker 8.6, Boulder with 6.6, .6, and Arvada with 5. We're continuing to see more snow, so these totals will, of course, continue to change throughout the afternoon. Let's check in with our winter storm warnings, winter weather advisories. We're still looking at about another two inches of snow for the Denver area, but out on the eastern plains, for the most part, about three to six more inches of snow. And as we head to the southern part of the state, most of these areas are looking at about one to eight inches of snow still through this evening. So timing it out for the next several hours, there is still snow in the Denver area by about five o'clock. It should be breaking up a bit more, except for the eastern and southern parts of the state. And then tomorrow morning, the eastern plains, we have another wave that comes on through. And then we'll see a little bit of snow here in Denver, not expecting much, still snowing out on the eastern plains. And then as we head into Friday morning, it's still snowing out on the eastern plains, and then it should solidly snow out in eastern Colorado throughout, again, almost all of Friday and Saturday. Denver will see snow in the afternoon, and then as we head into the overnight hours, we may see several more inches of snow come our way. But southern Colorado tonight from 11 o'clock through Friday morning uh, or afternoon, it depends on the area, we're still looking at another several inches of snow. Some of the Sangre de Cristos could see up to a, uh, another two feet of snow in that time frame. So it's this area of low pressure still sticking with us, and we're going to continue to see that area of low pressure through Saturday. And then it finally kicks out of here. By Sunday, we're heading back to some sunshine with temperatures near normal. But again, snow is coming our way, and Friday night into Saturday could be another doozy, possibly here across the Front Range. All right.